Good afternoon, it's Roxanne. I'm here today to show you guys how to split a bag of PRBCs into smaller aliquots for better usage of the blood supply and maintaining sterility for our patients. The supplies that we are going to need today are going to be a gram scale, or a scale capable of measuring mLs. We're going to need a transfer bag. These are 150 mL sterile transfer bags. These are located in Rachel's office inside the cabinet. We're going to need aluminum ceiling clips. We're going to need our lime strippers and we're going to need sterile gloves in your size. You're also going to need the unit of blood that you have chosen for your patient. Preferably it has already been cross-matched and is approved for your patient's blood type. For the sake of this video, I took a 250 ml bag, added some dye to it, and added a little extra saline to approximate the size and viscosity of blood. Now blood does weigh more than water. Blood weighs approximately 1.05 grams per ml and water is equal to one gram per ml. So keep that in mind when we weigh these. So the first task that we are going to do is we are going to weigh our blood bag. And this is a very sensitive scale. This says the blood bag weighs approximately 300 and, was that four? One. 301 grams. So we can assume that is approximately 300 mLs. Automatically, we are going to subtract 30 mLs from this total. The reason we're subtracting 30 mLs from the total of your weight of volume is because we're taking into account the weight of the plastic bag and the anticoagulant that exists with inside the product. So if we know it's 300 mLs, go ahead and subtract 30. That's gonna be approximately 270 mLs. So if we take 270, divide that by two, that's going to be the approximate weight, uh, weight of the half of the bag. Oh my gosh, I'm doing math. So approximately 135 grams. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put on our sterile gloves, making sure that we save our covering because this makes a very nice sterile tray to work on. Go ahead and open your blood bag because you do not want to touch this with your sterile gloves. All right, I will. Um... Attempt to place your gloves on as sterilely as possible. Although, I will tell you the truth, I am not very good at this. I learned how to do this on. I learned how to do this by watching YouTube videos. <laughs> Please stop the video. And go. Since earlier I tore my sterile gloves, I will not be using sterile gloves for this demonstration. We're gonna pretend these are sterile gloves along with our nice purple blood. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to remove the bag, transfer bag from the packaging, ensuring that each port is sealed and you should have a spike on the end that is firmly attached. Go ahead and weigh this on your gram scale and tear it. And this will be our starting point. As you see, we kept everything else on our sterile little patch here. We're going to go ahead and remove one of the ports. Taking the port from the transfer bag, we are going to spike the existing blood bag. We're going to hoist it up and we're gonna watch as our scale fills. Once that scale reaches the 135 gram mark, we will stop the transfer. I do rely on you, Ben, because I can't see it upside down. I gotcha. Of course, it's a saline. 100. It's 100? 110. 110. 120, 120, 130, 130, 137. All right, close enough. So you may put the blood bag down, fold the line in half, take a single aluminum clip, sliding it over the fold. You do not need to have too much extended outward. Taking the strippers, press down. 
you have just sealed off your bag. However, we now want to preserve what is remaining in this line for our patient. So you take the line, slide it between the rollers and simply pull through. As you see, the product runs back into the bag, fold over, take a clip, slide it over the line and clamp. At this point, you now have two separate bags. What you wanna do at this point now is fold at approximately one inch increments because this will allow you to have some tassels to get samples from. You do not need to put multiple tassels on the unit you are going to use. You're just going to need multiple tassels on the original unit. Since this unit will be sterilely sealed, this is now to remain the sterile unit. I'll do one more. So we have a couple tassels here, guys. Oh. <laughs> Not wearing official gloves, but you get the picture. Seal down. And we'll throw one more since we got an extra little dude here. I usually try to make two or three tassels because you do not know with what unit who it's going to be compatible with in the future. The nice thing is if your patient needs to have more blood, you already have a unit prepared and is still sterile. Using the scissors that are attached onto the strippers, go ahead and remove the remaining line. And now you have two separate bags of blood. The unit that you originally drew from, which is the original unit from ABRI, will now go to your patient. The remaining can get a new label, which is underneath the correspondence uh, option under in, uh, Cornerstone, and you will look up label folder blood bag. And that is how you separate two blood bags.